Well, friends, this is the devotional for um, Christmas Eve day, and I hope that you're planning sometime in the day, wherever you're hearing this, to if you're able to go to church and to celebrate this this great, uh, tremendous festival, the birth of our Lord. And if you're in Arizona and within reach of EPC, come to us. And if you're if you're not, find a church nearby and. If, uh, if that's impossible for you because of reasons of uh, age or disability, you can tune in and we'll, we're, we're live streaming services, so don't miss any of that. It's going to be glorious. Great music and uh, uh, we'll see about the preaching, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because of this great verse that I'm going to read to you today from John 1 verse 5. It says this very simply, the light, Jesus is the light that's come into the world. It shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never overcome it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christmas is hopeful. Christmas is hopeful. It's hard to be hopeful in our world, isn't it? You turn on the news, it's hard to be hopeful. But when we take a step back and look at the Christmas story, we realize how much our great God wants to restore his world, how much he wants to relate to us. For his rightful realm, his rightful home, was that, that place of light and perfection that befits one through whom all things were made. By becoming flesh and dwelling among us, he chose to be away from home. Ever thought of Christmas that way? God was away from home for Christmas. He chose to enter into that realm of darkness and death, limitation, confusion, injustice, Mary and Joseph, sure, they left their home in Nazareth to go to Bethlehem, uh, but he left huh, that realm, that divine realm of light to come amongst us. It's in relationship with him that we become new people. He left his home for our rebirth, in a sense. In relationship with him, we live in a new kind of kingdom, in a new sort of relationship with God and others. And we come to trust that there is no darkness that can overcome the light and the life and the love that God brings us in Jesus. When you have that conviction that lives in you, there is always a reason for hope. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, each of us has some darkness in ourselves and, and some darkness in the world that worries us. And so we lift that up to you in a moment of silence. Those who are, who are listening to this to devotional, take a moment to think about some darkness in the world or in yourself that worries you. Great God, we pray that your light, the light of Christ, will enlighten any darkness that we have in us and that this for us will be a hopeful year, no matter what challenges we face, physical, relational, social, that we, or economic, that we will be people of hope, that embody that hope, that the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.